Hi everybody. We're playing Jessmender Serene. And we are up against HB. Engineering the future. And we have a pretty good hand, actually. Really good hand. We've got a Proco. We got a day job if we need it. Um, just a lot of money. So we're gonna keep this hand. So we're going to proco a bunch. Nice. OK, so Earthrise is what we want. We want to drop Earthrise so that we can day job in the same turn. Um, just the ability to get that many clicks is pretty strong. I don't know if we're going to need Artist Colony in this game. Probably not. It's usually good against uh, NEH when you don't know if it's a uh, Scorch variant. And you score like a 1-2 or something like that, you could forfeit your agenda to go get your Plascrete or um, basically anything, which is makes it very, very strong. But uh, probably won't use it in this matchup, I would imagine. All right, so let's run HQ. Next, bronze. Hmm. That's a shame. Uh, let's run R&D. Next, bronze. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to see if we can trash the thing in server one. Is it next silver? It's Enigma. Boo. Okay. Well. Now we know that we just need our code get breaker to go in everywhere. So it's good. It's Proco, that's pretty sweet. Let's see. I think we'll save this. He's not going to be able to res that if it's anything. Uh, could be an agenda, but so poor. Let's uh, drop our Earthrise. Chill out for this turn. Go get our Faust next turn, maybe. Or a turn after. So money enough. Okay, so that's probably an Adonis or an Eve. We are just going to day job and toss out this thing. So we can't forget that we do want to deal with this thing. I imagine this turn we can go get it. Um, I guess it could be something else. I don't know. It could be a Jackson. Huh. Interesting. It's an agenda? How weird. So we can go get Faust. We could go Code Siphon for code get breaker I guess um, hmm. okay so let's see it's fast what we want to go get we're gonna play this we'll play this out we'll run we'll run um, I'm not even sure what this is. Could be just an ash, actually. So maybe we should just set up. Hmm.
Let's cyber cipher R and D break. And then we'll just go get our Faust with that. We can also get medium here, which is kind of cool. It might be worth it. Um, maybe we'll just... I think we're going to get Faust. Actually, let's get medium. Let's try medium. Uh, we could run R&D. Break. Architect. Good to know. Hmm. Yeah, let's just charge this thing up. Our last click will play a daily cast. Cyberdex. Yeah, we'll trash that. Okay. So, Architect's going to go here. Then we have to get our clone chip going, which is fine. Um, <laughs> interesting. So, this is an Ash or Caprice. Huh. He's gonna toss out his agendas. Yeah, it looks like we missed our window on HQ. Just tosses one card though. Huh. Okay, we'll just set up for our next turn. I'm almost 100% sure this is Architect, so we shall see. Guess it could be Itchy. It is an Architect. Okay, cool. So we'll break that. Start charging our medium again. Interrupt to zero. Huh. That's kind of cool. It's not very good against uh, Cyber Cipher, but I guess it cost me two credits. Interrupt zero. Very cool. Haven't seen that card played at all yet. So we're just waiting for our opponent to figure out what he's doing for this turn. So that's an ice. He might be trying to get us to think it's the interrupt zero. Could be an itchy, could be whatever. Um, no idea.
Okay. So is that batty? It's um. got two credits. Has to be a bronze. It's not a bronze. So just a mistake. I guess it could be ash. It's not. ABT. Oh, Mumbad City Grid. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. So he can make me encounter next gold three times. Which influence was that? Bad city grid. I'm really sad I could not uh, trash that now. Bummer. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure the wording on Mumbad City Grid is that we can, I guess we could check it out really fast. Uh, whenever the runner passes a piece of ice protecting the server, you may swap that ice with another piece of ice protecting the server. So it only works in the same kind of window that Caprice works. Um, you have to res the Mumbad City Grid um, before they pass the ice because there's no window to res uh, cards in the encounter. So you have to do it on the approach. Um, so that's cool. Interesting. Well, I think I would really like to find my Maya.
Um, maybe this will help me find it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to definitely use um, our same mold on Levy. Oh, wow. Never mind. Well, that sucks. Kronos, huh? And there's Maya. Okay. Got 14 cards, not horrible for us. I mean, it's a lot of economy. We're not gonna be able to go through our deck again, which means Faust is weaker. Um, but hopefully we can just snag some more agendas before that happens. Or we can find a legwork and go here. That'd be really, really strong. Oh. We have an admin too, which is right there. Okay, so pretty set here. I think we're just going to go for server one. We have six credits. Let's go. Let's go archives. Let's see if we can get him to res some more stuff. A silver would be the worst, I think, for us right here. It's probably... could be a gold. But I wouldn't risk a gold. So probably silver. Oh, wow. Vikram, huh? Uh, wow, well, that's a thing. Um, let's see, pump, pump, boost, Wait, pump up, break. break with okay could probably go here now fairly safely unless he's got batty Batty and mum bad. Break with Cypher Cypher. I think this was greedy. Veterans program, I see. He didn't care too much. Yeah, I think we'll trash this thing. They remove up to two bad pubs. So he's got a veterans program plus something else. What, is he, what bad pub is he removing? He's got some illicit ice in the deck, maybe. Huh. Interesting. Love Vikram. Vikram's very good. Taking a brain isn't usually a big deal. Um, 
think it's a pretty good, big deal against Faust. So, what is this? I think we want to find our legwork. Don't think we lost it yet, did we? No. Okay. So we can find our legwork. There's definitely one or two agendas in hand. Can't find it. So it is in the last couple of cards. Might end up uninstalling Faust. Shaper bullshit, I think this is called. I think we'll pay the credit. Can't be an agenda, right? Overrider, yeah. Good to know. That's a semi brain damage -y deck. Kind of looks like. all our clone chips. I think we have one more clone chip. Oh yeah, in our hand. Duh. Okay, so getting some bucks. Hmm. Leg work. Nice. That's what we're looking for. Hopefully not a Turing. Please not a Turing. Bronze. Okay. Oh, wait, I could pay for this, duh. <laughs> Admin, duh. All right, so what do we got here? Eli, nope. Architect, nope. Global food, all right, so we're on five points. Toss out this. Um, what I think we're going to do is get our the most value we can out of Faust before we clone chip and start running R&D a bunch of times to see the last two points. Um, why don't we just run HQ a bunch of times? I guess let's check HQ again. Uh, 
Oh, hey, still in hand. So I am wondering what this is. Maybe it is an interrupt zero. So we might just install this hyperdriver trashing CyberCypher, Faust, and then the next turn just start running R&D a bunch of times. I think that's okay. Uh, that actually is pretty good. Don't care about this card. Um, So we could proco one more time, then we can laundry, and then we could drop the hyperdriver. Or we can laundry now, drop hyperdriver, drop clone trip. I think I like that better. So let's go HQ again. Okay. Then let's trash, trash. It's gonna cost us five if that's an interrupt zero. But I imagine, oh. Is he going for a score? Interesting. Huh. So we get legwork first. Let's see the last three cards. Or we can broker the last two cards. And check R and D. Errand boy. Wow. Um, we're not going to break that. That is unexpected. I thought the interrupt zero would be here for sure. Peak efficiency, mother goddess. Okay, so could legwork to make sure. We're pretty sure it's Eli. Um, well, maybe not. Yeah, I think we just let everything fire. And if he draws a card, he's in serious trouble because he basically gives us free accesses. But we will not let how we should be bottoming things too. We can do that once a turn though. efficiency don't care about that mother goddess do we care about that at all no it's four strength green level don't really care about that hmm
Okay, so we're gonna bottom this card no matter what. Vikram, that's fine. Okay, now we can gain a credit and go back in to see two more cards. And if this is a score, we're in really good shape. We probably will hit here. The likelihood is very high in a 20 card deck, seeing five cards and two of them are new. All static, boo, come on. Gila hands, that's not gonna do it. So he's got a purge here. This is like the Purge 101, when you can get five cards in your deck and you have not seen an agenda, don't let it fall to chance. I can't get back in here five more times. So, oh wow, he's going for it. Is it another Kronos project? He probably should purge. <laughs> so I can bottom another card. Pretty strong. Okay, that, that does help. Uh, let's see. So he drew Vance Vance install, so probably the interrupt is zero. Which is four strength. Okay. To gain some money. Okay. This could be Eli. Eli is also strength four. Um, what else are we worried about? Not much. Yeah. So actually, I think we're going to click through so we can go one more time. We really don't care about Aaron Boy. We're probably just going to hit here. Green level. That's fine. Wall. Let's bottom that. ABT. Nice. Vitruvius. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good game to our opponent. Uh, lost half of our deck here, <laughs> but um, R&D lock is pretty good. And uh, yeah, I think this should have been like a silver. If he didn't see a silver, that would be probably why he didn't put it there, but definitely wanted a silver there if possible. Uh, maybe he put it over here expecting to score out in a couple turns, but yeah, this was just able to lock down, lock down R&D um, when Aaron Boy actually becomes really bad because you don't want to give the corp or the runner fresh accesses. So yeah, seems good. Let's see what was in hand. Can we do this now? 
I don't think so. <laughs> you used to be able to do stuff like that. All right. Uh, well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.